wish I was going to one of those houses. I'm going to an abandoned house right now. You'll be upstairs? Okay, so the story is this house has been abandoned for several years and the water was shut down the electric was shut down a couple days ago some of the guys came over and they had to fix the uh, valve by the, the water meter so that got turned on but power was still off so the electric company you know the service company just turned power back on to the house which means now we can go through check the boiler make sure it works and replace anything that needs replacing, which so far seems like a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, well, no, it needs an air vent. I'll just put an air vent on. Can't do anything right now while the water's off. Got to put this on first before we can do anything. And then... I could go through, power up the boiler. Probably gonna need to replace the gas valve, circulator pump. Um, yeah, that's it. Just hope the pipes didn't freeze. the water now the water's off it's just the pressure's on the boiler where can I I'm just gonna pop the relief Good thing they're gutting literally the entire house. Should fit now. Alright, there is... There is no way I'm getting this on with the threads like that. I think I only have. Ah, look at that. Yeah. Really fast, I just wanna make sure that the vertical pipe, this one, doesn't go when I unsolder it.
cold in here. Doesn't look like I'm gonna get that water out because the baseboard goes down, goes across, and then goes up to another piece of baseboard. So the water's trapped in kind of like a U shape. I'm just gonna have to do my best. But it doesn't have to look pretty. It just can't leak. That's how it's supposed to be. I don't know if they're ripping this out or just painting over it. It could look worse. Moment of truth. Great, now what? I hope those hold because I don't have them on the truck. Okay, so that didn't hold. So we're gonna take our first supply house trip of the day. What a way to start the day, huh? Kind of gets the energy going, but I'll tell you what, nothing is better at getting the energy going than, oh, that first sip. Because the close is one. Now I'm no plumber, but that seems right. Got him. I grabbed the wrong one. Fortunately, this one was holding. Bueno. No leaks here either. So now we can work on the boiler. Seven does not work. might not have the gas valve on the truck. Got it! Got two! You see, that's my problem. When I have everything I need for the job on the truck already, it reinforces this idea in my head that I need to have one of everything, which is when I start accumulating stuff I don't need. I just got off the phone with my local Honeywell distributor and this one, unfortunately, we weren't able to match it up, but we lucked out because this one is a match. Gas valve is all set. 
Sunset. So if we're purging over here, we want to shut down over here. It's fine, it's just gonna make purging the system a lot more difficult. Currently, looking for that other thermostat because there's two, two zones. We'll just jump it out again. Oh my God. Yeah, I messed up. I should have swapped this part out. That's right, I'll do it right now. That sounds a lot better. Sounds like it's got air, but it sounds a lot better. Looks like that zone actually is working, so. We're good there. Now I'm just gonna wait and see if the place heats up. <clears throat> That's not gonna do me any good. Apparently that light worked the whole time. gonna be it for today let's see how we're doing on time 240 not bad for a friday couldn't have planned that any better if i tried